Are you ready to sculpt your body and boost your strength without ever stepping foot in a gym? Grab your dumbbells and let's get started on this transformative workout journey. In today's session, we're diving into a full body dumbbell workout designed to maximize your gains and elevate your fitness routine. Whether you're a beginner looking to build a solid foundation or an experienced lifter aiming to push your limits, this workout has something for everyone. We'll be targeting all major muscle groups, ensuring a balanced and effective session. Plus, I'll be sharing tips on proper form and technique to help you get the most out of each exercise. So, grab your weights, find a comfortable space, and let's power through this together. 1. Wide squats. Muscles worked quadriceps, glutes, hamstrings, and adductors. Success tips. Keep the knees pointed in the same direction as the toes. Keep the head and neck in line with the trunk. Pay close attention to all alignment and stabilization issues on every part of each in repetition. Start. Grab the dumbbell with both hands and stand with your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Slightly rotate your hips outward. Feet and knees should be lined up in that outward position as well. Stabilize your torso by lifting your chest, tightening your abs and maintaining a slight arch in your lower back. Action. Under control, slowly squat down by sticking the hips back as the knees start to bend. Keep the chest up and the back flat as the hips continue to move backward. Lower to approximately 90 degrees at the knees, unless otherwise determined. Return to the starting position. Do not lock out the knees at the top of the squat. 2. Calf raises. Muscles worked. Gastrocnemius and soleus. Success tips. Do not change your hip or knee position during the exercise. Rise up as high as you can, maintaining your balance on the balls of your feet. Start. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, feet facing straight forward. Hold the dumbbells at your sides with your palms facing in. Keep your chest lifted, abs tight, and a slight curve in your lower back. Action. Slowly rise up on the balls of your feet, lifting your heels as high as you can off the floor. Slowly return to the starting position, keeping tension on the calf muscles. 3. Stationary lunges. Muscles worked. Quadriceps, glutes, hamstrings, and adductors success tips. Place feet in a position so that when you lunge down, your front foot is directly under your knee and your back leg lines up under your hip. Keep your head and chest lifted with a slight arch in the lower back during the movement. Do only one side to fatigue, then switch to the other side. Start. Stand with one foot forward and one foot backward in a position so when you move to the bottom of the lunge, your front foot is under your knee and your back knee is directly under your hip. Hold the dumbbells at your sides with your palms facing inward. Keep the chest lifted, abs tight, and a slight arch in the lower back. Action. Slowly lower your body, bending at both knees, simultaneously keeping the front knee in line with the toes. Move down and stop just before the back knee is going to touch the floor. Reverse the motion and come back up to the starting position. 4. Stiff leg deadlift. Muscles worked. Hamstrings, glutes, and spinal erectors. Success tips. Your torso should move from standing vertical to leaning forward at the hips without rounding your spine during any part of the movement. Keep the knees slightly bent. Only move as far as you can correctly. It is critical that you keep the chest lifted and do not allow your spine to round at any time during the movement. Start. Stand with your feet approximately shoulder width apart. Hold the dumbbells down in front of your thighs with your palms facing back. Stand with a very slight bend at the knees. Keep the chest lifted, abs tight, and a very slight arch in your lower back. Action. Maintaining your knee position, slowly bend forward at the hips, moving your butt backward. Stop as your hamstrings begin to get taut and before your back begins to round. Concentrate on tensing your hamstrings to pull you back up to the starting position. 5. Flat chest press. Muscles worked. Pectoralis major, deltoids, and triceps. Bench position. Flat. Success tips. Maintain a 60 to 90 degree angle between your upper arms and torso at the start of the motion and a 90 degree angle from your torso at the top. Keep knees bent so your feet are positioned flat on the floor directly under your knees. Do not let your elbows travel behind your shoulders when you are lowering the dumbbells. 
Keep shoulder blades pinched together and maintain good spinal alignment. Start. Grab the dumbbells and lie back on the bench. Bend your elbows back, keeping your arms at approximately 60 to 90 degrees away from your sides and your elbows equal to your shoulder. Keep your arms directly in line with the dumbbell over your wrists and elbows. Raise your chest, pinch your shoulder blades together and maintain a comfortable arch in your lower back. Action. Slowly press the dumbbells upward, straightening your arms while moving the dumbbells toward each other directly over the center of your chest. Don't lock out your elbows, keep the tension on the chest. Slowly return to the starting position, keeping your wrists steady and your movements slow and controlled. 6. Incline chest press. Muscles worked. Pectoralis major, deltoids and triceps. Bench position. Incline to 45 degrees. Success tips. Maintain a 60 to 90 degree angle between your upper arms and torso at the start of the motion and slightly more than 90 degrees from your torso at the top. Keep knees bent so your feet are positioned flat on the floor directly under your knees. Do not let your elbows travel behind your shoulders when you are lowering the dumbbells. Keep shoulder blades pinched together and maintain good spinal alignment. Keep your arms directly in line with the dumbbell over your wrists and elbows. Start. Grab the dumbbells and lie back on the bench. Bend your elbows back, keeping your arms at approximately 60 to 90 degrees away from your sides and your elbows equal to your shoulder. Raise your chest, pinch your shoulder blades together and maintain a comfortable arch in your lower back. Action. Slowly press the dumbbells upward, straightening your arms while moving the dumbbells toward each other directly over the center of your chest. Don't lock out your elbows, keep the tension on the chest. Slowly return to the starting position, keeping your wrists steady and your movements slow and controlled. Seven, flat chest fly. Muscles worked, pectoralis major and deltoids. Bench position, flat. Success tips, maintain a 60 to 90 degree angle between your upper arms and torso at the start of the motion. And slightly more than 90 degrees from your torso at the top. Keep knees bent so your feet are positioned flat on the floor directly under your knees. Do not let your elbows travel behind your shoulders when you are lowering the dumbbells. Keep shoulder blades pinched together and maintain good spinal alignment. Start. Grab the dumbbells and lie back on the bench. Rotate your upper arms away from your torso so that your elbows and palms are pointing upward. Maintain a slight bend at the elbow and stabilize your wrist in a neutral position. Raise your chest, pinch your shoulder blades together and maintain a comfortable arch in your lower back. Action. Slowly move the dumbbells forward, then upward keeping your arms stable at the elbow while moving the dumbbells toward each other directly over the center of your chest. Keep the tension on the chest throughout the movement. Slowly return to the starting position, keeping your wrists steady and your movement slow and controlled. Eight, inclined chest fly muscles worked. Pectoralis major and deltoid. Bench position, inclined 45 degrees. Success tips. Maintain a 60 to 90 degree angle between your upper arms and torso at the start of the motion. And slightly more than 90 degrees from your torso at the top. Keep knees bent so your feet are positioned flat on the floor directly under your knees. Do not let your elbows travel behind your shoulders when you are lowering the dumbbells. Keep shoulder blades pinched together and maintain good spinal alignment. Start. Grab the dumbbells and lie back on the bench. Rotate your upper arms away from your torso so that your elbows and palms are pointing upward. Maintain a slight bend at the elbow and stabilize your wrist in a neutral position. Raise your chest, pinch your shoulder blades together and maintain a comfortable arch in your lower back. Action. Slowly move the dumbbells forward then upward keeping your arms stable at the elbow. Move the dumbbells toward each other directly over the center of your upper chest. Keep the tension on the chest throughout the movement. Slowly return to the starting position. 9. Standing curls. Muscles worked. Biceps and other elbow flexors. Success tips. Keep elbows at your sides. Keep your wrists straight. Keep your trunk muscles tight and maintain a very slight arch in your lower back. Start. Hold the dumbbells with your hands facing forward. Stand with your upper arms by your sides. Lift your chest. Tighten your abdominals and maintain a very slight arch in your lower back. Action. Curl the dumbbell.
barrels forward, then upward, and then toward your shoulders while keeping your elbows at your sides and your upper arms completely still. Slowly lower to the starting position by performing the same arcing motion. 10. Concentration curls. Muscles worked. Biceps and other elbow flexors. Bench position. Flat. Success tips. Do not rock the upper body while bending the elbow. Keep your wrist straight. Keep your chest lifted, trunk muscles tight, and maintain a very slight arch in your lower back. Start. Sit on the bench sideways and place your feet flat on the floor, slightly wider than shoulder width. Grab the dumbbell and rest the back of your upper arm against the inside of your leg just above the knee. The arm holding the dumbbell should be slightly bent, maintaining tension on the biceps. Maintain a good spinal alignment. Action. Curl the forearm toward the upper arm, keeping your upper arm and shoulder blade completely still. Slowly return to the starting position without relaxing the biceps. 11. Incline bench curls. Muscles worked. Biceps and other elbow flexors. Bench position. Incline to 45 degrees. Success tips. Keep tension on the biceps throughout the movement. Don't allow the arm to go to full extension. Keep your wrist straight. Keep your chest lifted, trunk muscles tight, and maintain a very slight arch in your lower back. Start. Grab the dumbbells and sit on the inclined bench and place your feet flat on the floor directly under your knees. Hold the dumbbell with a slight bend at the elbow, maintaining tension on the biceps. Maintain a good spinal alignment with the chest lifted and the abs tight. Action. Curl the forearms toward the upper arm, keeping your upper arm and shoulder blade completely still. Slowly return to the starting position without relaxing the biceps. 12. Scott curls, standing concentration curls, muscles worked, biceps and other elbow flexors. Bench position, inclined to 60 degrees. Success tips, do not rock the upper body while bending the elbow. Keep your wrist straight, keep your chest lifted, trunk muscles tight and maintain a very slight arch in your lower back. Stop the arm motion at the top of the movement slightly before your arm is straight up. Keep feet slightly wider than shoulder width. Start. Grab the dumbbell and rest the back of your upper arm against the upper portion of the bench pad. The arm holding the dumbbell should be slightly bent maintaining tension on the biceps. Place the other arm between the bench and the upper arm. Maintain a good spinal alignment. Action. Curl the forearm toward the upper arm, keeping your upper arm and shoulder blade completely still. Slowly return to the starting position without relaxing the biceps. 13. Overhead triceps extension muscles worked. Triceps. Success steps. Keep your knees slightly bent with your feet approximately shoulder width apart. Keep your chest lifted, shoulders pinched together in a very slight arch in your lower back. Keep your upper arms and shoulders motionless and your wrists straight. Tighten your triceps throughout the exercise using a controlled motion. Start. Stand with your knees slightly bent and feet shoulder width apart. Place both hands over the inside edge of one side of the dumbbell weights. Bring the arms up over your head with an approximate 90% at the elbow. Action. Keeping your upper arm stable, slowly straighten your elbows, moving your arms in an arcing motion upward over your head. Stop the motion before your arms are completely straight, and then reverse the motion. Slowly returning to the starting position, keeping tension on the muscle. 14. Triceps kick back. Muscles worked. Triceps. Bench position. Flat. Success tips. Maintain spinal alignment. Keep your arm at your side and your wrist straight throughout the entire motion. Tighten your triceps throughout the exercise and control the motion. Start. Kneel with one leg on the bench. Bend forward at the hips and place one hand on the bench. Support yourself with one arm on the bench and hold the dumbbell with the other with your palm facing in. Keeping your elbow bent, bring your upper arm to your side, parallel to the ground. Action. Straighten the elbow while keeping your upper arm completely still. When the arm is completely straight, slowly return to the starting position. 15. Lying triceps extension. Muscles worked. Triceps, bench position, flat, success tips, keep the upper arm motionless, keep the wrist straight, tighten your triceps throughout the exercise and control the motion all the way down.
Keep the knees bent and the feet planted on the floor directly under your knees. Start. Lie back on the bench with your head supported on the bench. Grab the dumbbells and move your upper arm up to a position that your elbow is facing upward and your hands holding the dumbbells are just over your forehead. Raise your chest and pinch your shoulder blades together. Maintain a very slight arch in the lower back. Action. Keep the upper arm stationary while moving the hands in an arcing motion upward. Stop the motion slightly before locking out the elbows. Do not lock out the elbow. Slowly reverse the arcing motion back to the starting position. 16. Hammer curls. Muscles worked. Biceps brachioradialis and brachialis. Success tips. Keep the upper arms motionless and your wrists straight throughout the entire exercise. Keep the chest lifted. Spine straight and a slight arch in the low back. Start. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and knees slightly bent. Grab the dumbbells with your palms facing inward toward each other. Stabilize the hips, knees and spine. Action. Curl the dumbbells forward then upward. Then in toward the shoulder keeping the upper arm completely motionless. Keep the palms facing in without rotating the lower arm. Slowly move back to the starting position. 17. Single arm row alternating rows. Muscles worked. Latissimus dorsi, Darius minor, posture deltoid and biceps. Bench position. Flat. Success tips. Stabilize your body in position so the effort is focused on your lat as you lead the movement with extending your elbow upward. Keep the dumbbell lined up directly under your wrist and elbow when doing the movement. Keep your spine aligned, abs tight and a slight arch in your lower back. Do not let your spine rotate side to side. Keep the shoulder at equal height during the movement. Start. Put one knee on the bench and place the other foot on the floor directly under your hip. Place your free hand on the bench slightly in front of you in a position that allows you to stabilize your upper body. Allow the arm with the dumbbell to hang straight down while maintaining control of your back and shoulder. Hold the dumbbell in a neutral grip with your palm facing the bench. Action. Initiate the movement by pinching your shoulder blades back while simultaneously moving your elbow backward, then upward. Continue moving the elbow up slightly above the height of your trunk while keeping the forearm lined up under the elbow. While controlling the resistance, lower the arm back to the starting position, letting the shoulder blade slide forward without slouching. 18. Wide rows. Muscles worked. Rear deltoid, rear portion of the middle deltoid, posterior rotator cuff, upper lats, and teres minor. Success tips. Place the feet in a comfortable shoulder width position. Keep the chest lifted, abs tight, and a very slight arch in the lower back. Lean forward slightly at the hip while keeping the upper body in alignment. Your forearm should always point in the direction of the dumbbells. Start. While standing holding the dumbbells, lean forward at the hip allowing the arms to extend directly in line with the resistance. Keep your spine in a stable position. Rotate the shoulders so that your palms are facing behind you. Action. Allow your arms to bend as you go. Move your elbows outward and backward, keeping a 70 to 90 degree angle between your upper arms and your torso. Move until your elbows are slightly behind your shoulders. Then slowly reverse the action, keeping the rear shoulder muscles tightened during the entire motion. 19. Deadlifts. Muscles worked. Glutes, adductors, hamstrings, quads, spinal erectors and traps. Success tips. Keep knees pointed in the same direction as the feet. Keep head and neck in line with the trunk. Pay close attention to all the alignment and stabilization issues on every part of each repetition. Keep pressure through the middle of the arches feet, not the toes or heels. Start. Position your feet in line with the dumbbell about shoulder width apart. Point your toes outward slightly and direct the thighs to the same outward angle as the feet. Hold the dumbbells with your palms facing backward. Action. Under control, slowly squat down by sticking the hips out as the knees start to bend. Keep the chest lifted and back flat as the hips continue to move backward. Lower to approximately a 90 degree bend at the knees, unless otherwise determined. Move back to the starting position, keeping the chest lifted while moving the hips forward and extending the knee. 20. Standing shoulder press. Muscles worked. 
front deltoid, upper traps and triceps. Success tips. Keep knees slightly bent. Keep abs tight in a good spinal alignment. Do not increase the arch in the lower back as you raise your arms. Keep your spine steady. Start. Grab the dumbbells and stand up straight. Keep your chest lifted, abs tight and a slight arch in the lower back. Raise the dumbbells to shoulder height, keeping your palms facing forward. Upper arm should be 90 degrees away from your torso and your elbows should be bent to 90 degrees as shown. Action. Straighten your arms slowly over your head, focusing on moving your elbows up and inward toward your ears. Straighten your arms slowly over your head, focusing on moving your elbows up and inward toward your ears. Slowly return to the starting position, keeping tension on your front shoulder muscles through the entire motion. A1. Lateral raise. Muscles worked. Front and middle deltoid success tips. Do not swing the arms upward or move the trunk during the motion. Maintain good spinal alignment. Start. Grab the dumbbells with the palms facing each other. Stand with your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Maintain an erect spinal alignment with the chest lifted, abs tight and a slight curve in the lower back. Action. Raise arms directly outward, then upward, to approximately shoulder height. Lift your hand and elbow at the same speed. Do turn or rotate your arms while raising them. Keep the side of your arm elbow facing out up throughout the movement. 22. Seated overhead press. Muscles worked. Front deltoid, upper traps and triceps. Success tips. Keep feet flat on the floor and directly under your knees. Keep abs tight and a good spinal alignment. Do not increase the arch in the lower back as you raise your arms. Keep your spine steady. Shoulder exercises. Start. Grab the dumbbells and sit up straight. Keep your chest lifted, abs tight and a slight arch in the lower back. Raise the dumbbells to shoulder height, keeping your palms facing forward. Upper arms should be 90 degrees away from your torso and your elbows should be bent to 90 degrees as shown. Action. Straighten your arms slowly over your head, focusing on moving your elbows up and inward toward your ears. Slowly return to the starting position, keeping tension on your front shoulder muscles through the entire motion. 23. Front raise. Muscles worked. Front deltoid. Success tips. Keep knees slightly bent. Keep abs tight and a good spinal alignment. Do not increase the arch in the lower back as you raise your arms. Keep your spine steady. Start. Grab the dumbbells and stand up straight. Feet should be approximately shoulder width apart. Keep your chest lifted, abs tight and a slight arch in the lower back. Hold the dumbbells in front of you with your palms facing back. Action. Keep the arms straight and the palms facing down. Move your arms forward and then upward to shoulder height. Slowly return to the starting position, keeping tension on your front shoulder muscles through the entire motion. 24. Rear delt row. Muscles worked. Back of the middle deltoid, the rear deltoid. Posterior rotator cuff, trapezius and rhomboids. Success tips. Keep your spine and hips stable and do not allow your body to sway during the motion. For normal pulling exercises, you may choose to let the shoulder blades float forward and backward naturally. However, for more emphasis to the rear deltoid, keep the shoulder blades pinched together throughout the movement. Keep your abs tight, chest lifted and maintain a slight arch in your lower back. Start. Stand with your feet approximately shoulder width apart. Grab the dumbbells with your palms facing back. Bend forward at the knees and hips so that your arms will hang slightly in front of your knees holding the dumbbells. Keep your head neck in line with your spine as shown. Action. Allow your arms to bend as you move your elbows upward keeping a 60 to 90 degree angle between your arms and your torso. Your forearms should always point in the direction of the dumbbells. Move till your elbows are slightly behind your shoulders. Then slowly reverse the motion. Keeping tension on the rear shoulder muscles during the entire motion. 25. Shoulder shrugs. Muscles worked. Upper trapezius. Success tips. Do not bend the neck backward or forward while raising the shoulders. Keep abs tight and a good spinal alignment. Make sure both shoulders are raised evenly. Start. Grab the dumbbells and stand up straight. Feet should be approximately shoulder width apart. Keep your chest lifted, abs tight and a slight arch in the lower back. 
Hold the dumbbells naturally to your sides. Action. Raise your shoulders toward the back of your head, making sure your neck head position does not move. Slowly return the shoulders to the starting position, keeping tension on your upper shoulder and neck muscles through the entire motion without slouching or rounding your upper spine. 